And we begin here with some breaking news out of British Columbia. We've learned someone under the government umbrella is using taxpayer money for dirty deeds. An internal audit shows about $300 of public funds was paid to a website that puts married people in extramarital affairs. Documents reveal an employee or a politician at the BC Ministry of Children and Family used a government credit card to pay for some type of service at ashleymadison.com. We're still digging up the details on who that might be, but our Bryn Weiss will join us in a minute with all the details. And let's get back to one of our top stories this hour. A government employee in British Columbia uses public money for private matters. Bryn Weiss has all the details for us. He joins us now live from Vancouver. So Bryn, this is quite a salacious story you've dug up, but what are you learning about this extramarital expense? Yeah, this is certainly a salacious story, Beatrice. It's a kind of a weird one. You can put it in that weird story column. Basically what this is, in a uh, government account of the 2011-2012 fiscal year, there is a one line in this account, Beatrice, uh, that a corporate card for the government, those of course are paid by taxpayers, a corporate card in the Ministry of Children and Family Development, let's note the irony here, used, uh, spent $301 for services with Ashley Madison. Now, I had an interesting chat with with, uh, a vice president of communications at Ashley Madison this morning and they of course won't confirm whether someone from the BC government was using public money to create an account with them obviously privacy is very important to Ashley Madison but so let's, let's listen to a little bit of my conversation with Paul Keeble earlier today well let me first say you know obviously we couldn't confirm or deny that the charge is in fact us without seeing any documentation and even so we wouldn't because our members anonymity in, in privacy is of the utmost concern for us that said you know we would obviously advise our members not to use a government credit card or for that matter any non-personal credit card mostly because of the first instances you this is the easiest way to get caught so, Beatrice, even if Ashley Madison wouldn't tell us that an account exists, the ministry itself did acknowledge this charge. Sheldon Johnson is a spokesperson for the ministry, and he told me earlier today uh, that this was, quote, a fraudulent charge, and it was reversed. Sheldon went on to say it was dealt with a long, long time ago, and whether somebody accidentally grabbed the wrong card, I don't know. I don't delve into people's personal lives. I don't know whether someone in the ministry is having an affair. I have no idea. It's none of my business. So the ministry is confirmed confirming the charge, Beatrice, but we have, of course, more questions. How was this charge reversed? If it was, in fact, a government employee or a politician who used this card by mistake, maybe it was late at night, they'd had one too many glasses of wine, <laughs> made the, used the wrong card, fine. Where is the proof that it was reimbursed? We're only talking $301 here, Beatrice, but obviously, given that this was for a company that sets people up into secret extramarital affairs and that this charge was coming from the Ministry of Family Development, no less, we still want more answers. Yeah, certainly it's not big bucks, Bryn, but someone's going to have some explaining to do. So thanks for bringing us this story. You're welcome. That's Bryn Weiss reporting live from Vancouver.